Hello, we are back. Hey. The last time we played our little adventures of Dove and Clover. Dove, you helped Bloody Toes, the chef, prepare dinner. Once you were done, you were asked to bring the dinner out to Bavlorna and her guest. To your horror, you saw her guest was one of her sisters. Mm. Um, when I brought out the dinner, just to maybe be a little impressive, I don't know. Maybe it will endear them to me. Can I use my arms to do it? Like my astral arms. Sure. Give me a performance check at advantage. Okay. Okay. Eh, it's all you right. Come out. Just to make it look a little more impressive. <laughs> What's this thing you have? Oh, <laughs> you like this? This, this is Dove. And she, she's serving me for the time being. <laughs> yes, until her friends return. If they return, they will. Well, we'll see about that. If they don't, <laughs> she's all of mine. She's not going to say anything. Just very, like, head bowed. Putting the plates for the... We have things to discuss. Okay, just call if you need me. Ah. She'll, she'll kind of give a little bow to both of them and go. The taller one watches you as you leave. So... <laughs> Are you listening in on this conversation? Um, is there a way that I can nonchalantly do this? You can make a stealth check and attempt to just eavesdrop. Yes, I will try. All right, let's see it. A dirty 20. Hey. Not bad. Don't you creep outside bad. and you wait. You make it sound like you go to your room and you shut the door. But then you actually like sidle back and creep up to the wall. Keep your ear next to it. Mm -hmm. Inside, you hear them talking. So, Scavatha still hasn't found Mugen. <laughs> yes. I don't think she ever will. Well, you haven't seen it. It's hard to scry on Scabatha. As it is hard to scry on you, sister. So hard to see your fate. Though I do know at one time we will come together. Eh. <laughs> We only came together the once. But it did take care of Zabilna, dear sister. Yes. Yes, it took care of Zabilna. Truly no foe should stand against the three of us. Eh. But I don't need your help all the time. Nor do I need yours. Eh, still, <laughs> it's funny what we did to Mugen. Mm, it's hilarious, sister. It was a practical joke for the ages. Mm. I was hoping, though. I was hoping after what we did to him, we would find eh, the horn. <sighs> yes, the horn is important to us. But so long as it doesn't end up in the right place at the right time. Um, and I don't think it will, not with the three of us. Yeah. What about that 
prince you have? Oh, I'm keeping him busy. I'm going to suck him dry as he tries and tries again. Oh. Hmm. Gotta get me a prince one of these days. <laughs> I had a little frog. He's down there in the, in the village now. I might snatch him up any day. Hmm. You might, but I don't think you will. Oh, what do you know? You bony old sack of waste. Mm, I know everything, sister. I know the moment I will die. I've seen it as clearly as I have seen your face. Mm. Pretty sight, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You should be careful, though. You're so stuck on the here and now. Well, that's all that matters. The here and now. I don't waste my time fretting about the future or worrying about the past like Scabitha. Hmm. Perhaps that is best. Enjoy the moment. You might not like the future. Ah, I'll worry about it when I get there. The two of them continue to eat. They talk about matters you don't understand. Is there anything you're hoping to glean from their conversation? Um, I think... I think that horn knowledge was very important for her. Like, a, okay, there's a horn somewhere that if it ends up in the right place at the right time, it would be bad for them. She's not sure what that means, but she is holding on to that. And I think maybe she knows that, she knows that only the stuff that her and Nyssa lost is here with Bavlorna. So she's hoping maybe she'll catch something about where those are stored and or um, the stuff that everyone else lost is, maybe it's with this sister. As you okay. listen, okay. Um, they don't go over anything about hordes or treasures. Okay. After a while, dinner seems to be wrapping up. What do you want to do? Um, they haven't called for me to clean up yet, have they? Will they? Uh, that's a good call. You kind of wait ready for that. And sure enough, yeah. girl, get in here! Clean up this filth! He yeah. will do it again, but with the multiple arms so she can kind of clean up efficiently. You prepare and uh, you come in, you do your performance cleaning up. Bavlorna and her sister usher away into the uh, study. They exchange words briefly. Well, a good riddance to you then. So long, sister. Hmm. And you hear Bavlorna opening up a snack and she starts munching. You hear the of a jar open and she's stuffing her face once again. As you're cleaning, uh, you see Clover poke his head out and check on you. Clover, do you want a snack? Mm. Come here. Clover ushers over to you. You give him There's, some food. Yeah, a little scraps. Give him some scraps so he's not hungry. You then hear footsteps. <laughs> moving towards you. Someone's approaching. What do you do? Um, I think just... She's gonna have Clover maybe just get under the table. Okay. Roll a stealth check. Uh, 
Twenty-six. All right. You and Clover, oh. you're able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuck Clover away, and Clover quietly hides underneath one of the chairs as you kind of push it in. Lurking into the room is once again. One moment. One moment. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lurking into the room once again. Oh. Yeah. It, yes, ma'am. She'll give a little, a little, like a little nod, nod bow. You're only here for another six days after this. Correct. So much can happen in six days. Yes. Would you like to know your future? Uh, but didn't you just say that so much can happen in six days? Oh, yes. But I can see all the things that can happen. And you see, as she lifts up her arms, little marionettes dance in her belly. And one of them looks a little bit like you, swinging a kick. And then you see a large uh, marionette of a hag, Bavlorna, come and swap at you and you fall down. <sighs> That's one way it could go. Of course, it could go another. And you see marionettes of you and all of your friends cheering as Bavlorna uh, falls over dead. Oh. I can tell you with certainty what will happen to you. Why would, would you, you do like th that? Uh, why would you do that for me? Well, we would have to make a deal. Surely you have something you can offer me? I do Small not. Small price to know the future. I don't wish to know the future. <sighs> because as you said, things can always change. So who's to say the thing that you tell me can't be changed? That's exactly the point. How will you know what to change if you don't know what will happen? Well, what if me knowing and doing the thing to change it is actually what makes it come true? Well, what if it makes it worse? You won't know. Let me help you. You see, I don't like my sister either. I wouldn't mind seeing her croak. That's funny. Well, I already know a way. Oh, is that so? I think so. Hmm. Well... I certainly hope you'll live to see it happen. You and your little pet down there. Well, you have a good night, ma'am. She's gonna like continue cleaning like she doesn't want to have the conversation. But she also doesn't want to be impolite. My night will be uneventful. I will watch a play back at home. It will be a boring one and then I will go to sleep and wake up the next day to do it all over again. So you know your own future but you can't change it. Who says I want to change it? But you just Maybe said it I have it just the way I like it. Oh. Huh. 
Well, I do too. <laughs> She's just like, mm, I like mine too. We'll see about that. She creeps away, leaving you there once again with Clover. Clover can come out. Just kind of. Come on. Mm. Anything you want to do? Uh, um, I think I think for this night she's um she's a bit done. You head to bed, taking a rest. That is the end of day two. There are six days left. And that is where we'll stop for now. Till next time. Bye.